Okay, this is where I left it yes, well, say yesterday, I recorded it yesterday, but in the last video. Now, as you can see, we've got the box using our weapons. At the moment, we've just got one set of box there with the happy smiley faces. Yeah, and I've just been zapped. Oh, that gets a bit loud, but you could just see there that I was still the uh, our, our friendly cathode robot. So what we're going to do in this video, right, let me get out of here. Come on, it's a bit quirky when I try recording. All right, so what we're going to do now is get our game to use our let's say character me mesh family uh, UT family info as our actual player now to do this there's a few ways to do it but I, fa I personally found the best way is if you go onto the UDN site now I've done a naughty here I've actually uh, saved this page onto my laptop well onto my USB stick which is a bit of a no-no but where I do my recording, I've got no internet access, so it's the only way I could do it. So what you want to do is go on to UDN. All right. Look for the Characters Technical Guide. Now, if you go down here, here you can see Characters Technical Guide. Last tested against UDK June 11. And they do a little like that. There's a lot of information here in there and basically what they've done here is they've extended from the UT pawn which is what we're doing well we're not going to do well I say that we're not going to do the pawn because at the moment we don't want any of this stuff in there all right but what we do want because this stuff in here is just uh, regenerating the health if I read that correctly we're not really interested in that but what we are interested in is the player controller class now this is where you actually set the uh, player controller to use your char your character your fa family info now as you can see here we're extending from ut pl pl player controller we've got the variable class in there set up player blah 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 set up pl player character which gets server set blah blah it, it's all in there just follow it through yeah and in the bottom we have the character class being set as UT family info Landry Mail well obviously we don't want that but we'll change that anyway <coughs> pardon me now you also have to put in your game yeah that in the default properties well, we're not going to use the, class, the pawn class at the moment, but you need to make it point out or point it to the player controller class going to your player controller. Now, this all looks pretty here. How does that look in context? Well, very, very simple. Let's get into the player controller class. Here we go. DC player controller, UT extends UT player controller, blah, 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 blah. I know. It's exactly the same, and what I've done here is the character class being pointed to my UT family info geo guy mail. Okay, so that's fine, that's all in there. Let me just show you. Let's, I had to go into the, uh, the engine to sort of lower the scale of the, uh, instead of it being super widescreen. But I've shown you that on other videos. So we've got DC player controller, DC game death. Yep. And uh, come on. So we've got that there. And in the DC game death, we've added player controller class, class DAVCORP, DC player controller. Now, where do I get this information from? Now, if you remember in the game type videos, what I did. I went into the UT game folder set classes and if you go down I'll find it eventually da, 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 da. 
UT game. There we go. Now, if you go in, because I was at this area when I last used it, it go automatically goes in there. <coughs> and if you if you look here, player controller class set up straight away. UT game, UT player controller. We're just basically overriding that so it uses ours. Okay. So we go, yeah, fine, thank you very much. Are we, are we there yet? Can we test it? <coughs> well, to be honest, we could. But, well, go on then. Let's see if this works. Because I want to point something out. Now, obviously, we're going to have to recompile the scripts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Thank you. Start the game. And see how we go. See, I've uh, I've got it back to being a splash screen, back to being a small screen. The volume's extremely loud yet again. Game match, yeah, DC game. If you haven't spotted the video yet on my in my YouTube channel, you will find in the UDK tutorials how to get this to show up as it is now. Okay, not the uh, dab corp thing. Right, map, go back to there, start game, press fire, play. Now, at the moment, you can't see anything, that's the way, that's the way, that's the way. As you can see there, well, let's just slow that down. You can actually see we're now using my other mesh this is the geo guy now if a press that press f1 for some reason in the death match it's decided to pick all the the other ones but that's fine we can live with that we'll just get out of there that's worked fine now one thing i want want something else i want to show you which is quite important uh, I don't know whether I'd actually already done this, but uh, let's just have a look. If you go into the UDK game folder, under config, now if we go into default game, open that up, and you've got this stuff here. Now your default game is UDK base simple game, default server game, yet again, player controller class name. Now when you are going to compile your game, all right, whichever it is, this is what you need to change. All right, I'm just going to leave it as it is at the moment. But you've got your default game. You ch I would change that to uh, DavCorp. Uh, what, what's it called? Yeah, whatever. Uh, DC Death Game. And same again here, DavCorp DC Death Game. Player controller class name, Dav DavCorp DC Player Controller. And again, under your default game type, I would have uh, DavCorp DC Death Game. Okay, it's just a, it works at the moment because we're calling it direct, yeah. But for when you when you want to publish your game, you really want to go in and change these around to make sure it shows your stuff. Okay then. Now, you've also got in here things like your default settings, you know, to auto taunts, land shaking, shadow, all, all this other stuff. You, you can play around with this if you want. Yeah? I'm not going to because I'm just sticking to the basics. And you've got other stuff here. You know, players must be ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we'll leave that as it is. Now, as you saw, it, it all works. Very simple. Not that hard, and that's about it at the moment, to be honest. I think the next video we're going to actually uh, go in and change his gun, I think. You know, do something of our own. Okay then, so I'll see you soon, and uh, take care now.